with another quick video. So I'm setting up a website uh, for a client. And since I'm setting up their pages right now, um, I figured I would show you guys how to do it just in case you needed to know how to do it for your Shopify store. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm setting up pages. They need an about, uh, about us page, a contact us page, and they want an FAQ page. So I'm going to set those, those up and I'm also going to add it into their menus, which is something a lot of people do not know how to do. So that is what we are going to be doing today. So let's get started. So what you would do, you just click here, just click on online store and it'll open up these options here. I'm going to click on pages and I'm going to click on add page. And all I'm going to do is simply say about us and I'm going to save it. Now it will be for me, it's going to be up for to my client to come back in here and fill in their about us information. I'm simply creating the page. Okay, now that I have that created, I can go in and add another page. And I'm going to do their FAQs page. Save that. All right, we have that created. And then the last one I'm gonna do is a contact us page so just type in contact us and for contact us you will use this layout here so it's contact and what that is going to do it's going to give the page the actual um options to fill in and type in information and i'll show you what that looks like in just a second so let's view the page and then you see here it gives the options for the name and email and phone phone number and a place for them to leave a message. So um, you, if you want that on your contact us page, then you need to make sure that you select this option, okay? Because if you just do a page, it'll literally just be a blank page, okay? So now I have the contact us page about us and FAQs done, right? So now we need to get that into the main menu of the store and I'm gonna set that up. So we're gonna to go to navigation in the main menu here. And I'm just gonna add a menu item and I'm gonna click on um, link and I'm going to go to pages because that's what we just created. And you see, those are the three pages there that I've created, right? So. I'm gonna add the about us there, add, and then I'll do this again, go to pages, add the contact us, add. Again, go to main menu, link, click on the pages, and then select FAQs and add. And then as you can see, they're all here. Now, the other thing that I need to do is that instead of it being called a catalog, we are going to um, edit this and we're going to say shop and we're going to apply the changes. So we're going to save the menu now and then I'm going to let you see now on the website that we now have shop, about us, contact us, and FAQs. Now. I'm going to close these two pages out that I just did. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do is I also, a lot of times on websites, right, the About Us, Contact Us, and the FAQs are also at the bottom of the, the website as well in the footer. So we are going to add those to the footer as well. So it's the same process. So I just click on Add Item to Menu. I'm going to click on the link, go to Pages, click on About Us, Add do the same thing. This is very simple. A lot of people struggle so much with setting up their Shopify and they get confused, but this is a very, very easy process to get done. All right, here we go. So we have that saved. And then um, the next thing, I'm gonna show you guys the store again, click by clicking on the eye. And then now down here, at the bottom of the website, we have the FAQs and everything listed there as well. Okay, so that is that. It's that simple to set up um, your pages. Um, the other thing I can show you as well that a lot of people don't think to do, 
but you also need your terms and conditions, uh, your store policies, all that kind of stuff. And so what you would do is you're going to go into your settings for the store and you will go to legal. Okay. And then from legal, this is where you have your refund policy. Now, the cool thing is Shopify already has like a template generated. So for example, I can put that here. So create from template and it will put, it will automatically generate all the information, like a standard, like return or re refund uh, policy. And then all you have to do is go in here and tweak it for your own business. So, um, like I would change the email to like, hello at the, so I have two, two brands, hello at the, uh, boutique bay. And this is the one I'm actually doing for, um, the boutique bay is what I'm using to create these websites and do all the graphic design stuff and not the fluffy hustle any longer. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I guess it would be helpful to put dot com. Um, at the end okay so it does that right so we have that here we can do the same thing for the privacy policy and you go in here and you tweak it according to and for your business okay and then the same thing for terms of service they have a they have it in here and the only thing they don't have um, a template for is the shipping policy so you would just come in here and you would say you would type in what you want your ship shipping policy to be and then save it so i'm going to save it all right so now i'm going to go back here click on online store again we're going to go to navigation again and I want to add those pages into my footer. So at the bottom of the store, they don't have to be at the top. Most of the time they're not. So click on add menu item, click on the link. And this time we're going to go to policies. And then you see there it's already listed and we can just add these in. Policies. Um, do the refund this time and the next one is the terms of service so there so now we have those that will be at the on the footer menu okay and now we can see that down here so now you have all of this stuff inside of your store okay so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to do what's called nesting options on your um, menu. I swear I can't get that word out today, but um, you can nest things. So for example, actually, um, let's say for example, I wanted the um, about us, the contact us and FAQs, like let's say under like one header. So let me do something else. What I'm gonna do, and even though I showed you guys this in a different video, it won't hurt to do it again. So I'm gonna create a collection, a couple collections really quick or a few collections. So the first collection is going to be new arrivals. I'm going to use the tag uh, new and I'm going to save the collection. If you want to know more about setting up collections, I go more in depth into another video. It's only about seven minutes long. If you want to learn more about uh, setting up the collections, but in, in, in general, that's what it is. So new arrivals, I'm going to do one called sale and then a tag for it will be sale. And then the next collection will be called Best Sellers. And then I'll use the tag Best for Best Sellers and save. So now we have collections created. All right, so now I wanna have those collections on the, me the main menu for the store, right? So I'm gonna go to navigation, go back to the main menu, and then I'm gonna add these into the, the list. So again, I'm gonna click on link. And this time, since I have just created collections, I'm gonna select on collections, and here are all the collections created, right? So the first one is new arrivals. All right, and we're gonna add that in there. 
I'm going to do another one, another collection. We're going to do the best sellers, another collection. We're going to do sale. All right. So now let me show you, let me save this. Now let me show you what the website header is starting to look like. So if we just keep adding stuff on, this is gonna get real crowded. And it doesn't really look good when you have too many options. Sometimes it starts to confuse your customers if you just have too many things for them to select from. So what you can do is you can start nesting some of these options. So for example, so shop is our main header, right? What you can do is you can move like new arrivals you can drag it in just pull it over and you see boom new arrivals drops under shop and i want to do the same thing with my best sellers and i want to do that under shop and actually i don't want that under new arrivals i want it to be its own thing here we go best sellers and then we're going to do the same thing for sale bring it up one sometimes it tweaks out a little there you go so now I have those three now listed under shop okay and um, you can also move things around so let's say I didn't want um, about us to be before FAQs because I kind of think customers might want to know the FAQs before um, they would want to know like the about us and all that kind of stuff um, So that's the way I'm going to organize it. So you can just organize the stuff like by, by moving it up and down, right? All right, so Next just save the menu and then to view it on your store Now you see shop is here and it has a drop-down for bestseller sales and new arrivals so that's how you create a drop down as opposed to everything being laid out here okay so hopefully that helps you a little bit as far as organizing your store how to create pages and then how to connect those to your main men menus and your footers <laughs> all right guys i hope you found this helpful um, if you are interested in having me build a website, a Shopify website specifically for you, click the link below. Um, I um, will be glad to set up a shop for, for you. I have a few pre-made templates that, that I use that you can select from. Outside of that, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day and I will catch y'all later. Bye.